When I woke up in the hospital after an ATV accident and I realized that I had lost my right arm to amputation, I realized that my life was going to change forever from that point forward, but in the best way. My name is Diana Gazano Gibson. I'm the founder of the Diana Adapted Foundation, and I'm also a thriving amputee. I was in a side-by-side -side accident in June of 2016. We were camping for one of our good friend's birthday. I was sitting in the passenger seat, and unfortunately, the side-by-side -side, uh, had flipped over, which pinned my arm between the ground and the vehicle, leading to some pretty severe injuries, not only for my arm, but my knee as well. I was completely conscious for the entire accident. I knew exactly what had happened to me. I knew it wasn't good. I knew I had to get to a hospital very quickly. My husband, boyfriend at the time, uh, had been alerted and uh, drove as quickly as he could to where we were at, and I was rushed to the hospital. I was admitted to a hospital in the mountains, which became very obvious very fast that they couldn't support the kind of trauma that I had experienced. Um, so that I was airlifted uh, to uh, trauma hospital. I was on like a gurney and they had stabilized my arm. Um, I couldn't really steal it. I felt no pain, surprisingly. There wasn't, I think it's just adrenaline. And so I just, I was just there and listening to the doctors and putting all of my faith and everything that they could possibly do to help me. When I woke up from my surgery, I was getting wheeled uh, into the recovery room and uh, there was a very nice nurse wheeling me there and I, I kind of looked up and I looked down and I realized that my arm wasn't there anymore. I said, they couldn't save it? And she said, no, sweetie, I'm sorry. We couldn't save it. I, I just fell back asleep crying because I realized that from that moment forward, everything was about to change. When you wake up in a hospital bed, missing a limb, that you once had for the first 27 years of your life, that's heavy. And it seems like you've got only an uphill battle ahead of you. But it's so very important to get your mind right in a situation like that. It's so important that you sit in those emotions and you feel the heaviness, but there's a decision that needs to be made. And at that point is when you decided which direction and which trajectory your life is gonna take. I didn't broadcast the way I was feeling. I was unsure. I didn't know how I was gonna drive again. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to keep my job. I didn't know if I was gonna live the life I was supposed to live prior to the accident. But it turns out that I actually have more. I've got more than I could have ever dreamed of in this entire world because of the support and the resources that I was provided. It was so important for me to create something that somebody like me in a situation like me was kind of a one-stop shop to feel that empowerment and the ways that I was fortunate enough to feel by finding the resources that I did. The Diana Adaptive Foundation exists to support and empower those with limb differences and disabilities remain mobile, active, and independent. There's three main ways that we support those with limb difference and disabilities. The first one is called the adaptive mindset, and that's making sure that they're processing it the right way and they're taking on the mindset that they want to as they now embark on their new normal and have professional help navigating that situation from a mental perspective. It's so very important and what I think is the number one priority that somebody should focus on right after this happens. The second program through the Diana Adaptive Foundation is the Adaptive Independent. And that is what allows you to remain active and mobile and independent in your life. The day-to-day -day things that you're gonna have to tackle and overcome and figure out, there's gonna be a resource for that. Whatever your unique difference is, there'll be tools and kit and even medical support that'll help you through that specific time in your life. The third program is the Adaptive Fitness. What I found is the most effective uh, when it came to my recovery, because I very much realized when I got back into the gym after my accident that it was so very important to strengthen the rest of my body 
that was what's gonna support me through the rest of my life and to really take care of what I still had left. And so it was so important to remain active and so important to strengthen through various adaptations and modifications of the gym. No matter where you're at in your journey, this experience can truly shape your life in a positive way, even if you can't imagine them right now. I know this because I've lived it daily since my accident. That's why I'm so passionate about helping people through the programs at the Diana Adaptive Foundation. My hope is that you'll come alongside me and support me in my vision to support those with limb difference and disabilities. Whatever way you choose to do that, maybe it's a financial donation, or it's a partner referral, or even an advocate, or just bringing awareness to the foundation will be so helpful and critical in our mission to support those that need us the most. If you're ready, today is the day your life is gonna change. If you're ready, today is the day that you're gonna help change others' lives.